Alright, so today we're going to be looking at three cases for the Google Pixel 8. The first of which is the official Google Pixel 8 case, which is made by Google and sold in the Google Store and other places as well. This is made by Google, so it has pretty good compatibility with the phone. Here it is here. It has a soft Alcantara on the inside, which spells Pixel on the inside. Soft, feels good on the inside of the phone. It's also got like a grippy, but also kind of very soft and silky feel. It's not sticky or anything. The buttons, they're kind of a metallic metal button, which feels really good to click. As you can see there, the light showing them, they have like a metallic, they feel a lot like the buttons on the phone, which I think is pretty cool. Here we have a Google, metal Google logo, which is embedded in the case. It shines well, it's, I think it looks pretty stylish. <laughs> Here's the ports on the bottom, and let's just slip it on. You can see full visor opening on the back, so we'll just slip it on. Pretty easy to slip on. Oh, Google Assistant. <laughs> Pretty easy to slip on. As you can see, the ports, they aligned super well on the bottom. Nothing on this side, clean. Metal buttons here, you see them shining in the light. And then here's the visor, fully open on the back with just a tapered off waterfall kind of style on the sides, which feels good when you're holding it. Your finger gonna rest there, it feels pretty good. Um, the visor is exposed, but it does have a lip just above the visor with like a hump going up. So when you put the phone face down, it does not rest on the visor, it rests on the case. See, it's not sliding around. So that's good to know that it won't be resting on the cameras if you put it down. Same with the front here. You can see it's a pretty thin case, not too much thickness at all. It does play well with glass screen protectors, which is great. And the front has a bit of a lip, so it's not, it's sticking to the table, it is not the glass screen protector is not rubbing on the table when you put it face down because it has a slight lip. So that's good for people who are looking for the protection for back down or face down while also being quite thin. And the grip is really good. The buttons. Super clicky. Really awesome. They feel a lot like the actual foam buttons. So that's what you expect with Google. The only downside I have with this case is that it attracts a ton of pocket lint. So it gets really, really linty and messy looking. If you wear jeans or anything, it has cotton in it. So that's the only downside I'd say. But other than that, it's a fantastic feeling case at a reasonable price. So I definitely recommend picking this one up. Moving on to the next case. You can see how easy it is to take off. It peels right out. So the next case I got here is the Spigen Liquid Air. This is a simple case for the Google Pixel 8 at about $15. I'll have the link in the description. It just has a weaved matrix little triangle pattern on the back there. Full visor protection on the back here. So we'll just throw it in the case here and see how it looks. So it does cover the entire back of the visor all the way to the edges and just shows the flash, microphone, and camera. So pretty good protection there for those who want to put it back down. And you can see that the visor is not on the table. It is the case that is. So if you want to put your phone back down, you will be protected fully. Um, and also with the front lip here, you can see that it is not a very thick case. Definitely thin, but a little bit thicker than the official Google case. It plays well with a nice glass screen protector. As you can see, it's not pushing against the screen protector or anything. It does wrap around the edges a touch, so if you have a larger screen protector, that's something to look out for, as you can see there. And it does have a raised edge on the lip there, which does mean that when you put it face down, it is the case that's on this table and not the glass screen protector, which is great to see. For those of you who want to put your phone face down, you will not be putting your phone screen directly on the table, so that's really great to see. Overall, the ports and everything, they all line up perfectly, as expected with a speaking product. And it's got a lanyard hook here, a little ribbed pattern, which has a good grip. I don't feel like it's going to fall out. And the buttons here are very clicky and tactile, as you can see. Very clicky buttons, very responsive. They feel just as good as just the bare phone. So that's really good to see with a rubber case like this. Overall, a really good option for those of you looking for a simple affordable but also very protective and stylish case. 
And now for the final case, this is some unbranded case. I don't even know what the brand was. I'll have a link in the description. This was a super cheap clear case on Amazon. It's like $3. So if you're just looking for a cheap case that you just throw on when you go out because you want to show off the color of your phone, something simple, it'll probably yellow, but it's super cheap at three bucks with prime shipping, which was kind of hysterical to see. Um, it's a very floppy, flimsy, thin case. But that's kind of what I was looking for in a clear case because when I put one on, I just kind of want to see the phone color. And I'm not looking to do anything crazy with a clear case on. So it's super simple and it covers the phone, the visor just around the camera and flash open. This is one of my favorite designs for a camera visor protection because it protects the sides, but it still has it fully open here, which is nice. Also, that means that it protects the visor when it's down, face down. And it does have a slight lip on it. So when you put it face down, it's the case on the, the screen is not rubbing on the table, which is great to see again for a case of this price. And it does have that kind of dot matrix there, as you can see on the corner. So it kind of reminds me of like a Spigen liquid crystal case, but for like way cheaper. So if you're just looking for something, you can just rock here and there. Not as your main case or anything. I definitely recommend it. It's a super thin case. Definitely one of the thinnest we looked at today. But overall, I don't know. <laughs> you can see how clear case looks on the Pixel 8. It kind of shows off the hazel color, which is quite nice. Anyways, that's been all for the Google Pixel official case, the Spiegelin Liquid Air case. And overall, these are all really great cases. And I hope that this video, if you're interested in any of these cases, they'll all be in the description. And I hope that this helped you see how they fit the phone and will help you in a buying decision for your Google Pixel 8. Anyways, that's been all, and I'll see you in the next video.